Hi guys, what's up? Um, today I'm coming at you in my robe, Shane Dawson style. And as you saw by the title of this video, I am cleansing and setting up my altar, uh, which is kind of like a spiritual spot in your house um, that you practice in. Um, I think I've talked about it quite a enough times now. Um, but I had already been filming for a little while and <clears throat> what sucks about filming on my phone, I'm not really able to edit, but I might try and figure out how to edit that because I want that footage. So if I figured out how to edit it, um, this doesn't matter, but if I didn't, then it does because I'm re-saying a lot of stuff anyway. I just cleanse the area with a wet uh, paper towel, just water, and dried it off. Um, and I had a few things up here already. Um, I'll show the area. This is the table I'm using. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically, as you saw, there is a little frame. I said I'm eventually going to put a quote or something in here, maybe a picture of something that just makes me present. I'm not sure yet, but I bought that at a thrift shop a while ago. Um, I also have this Himalayan salt candle holder with a melted candle in it. Um, this was here before as well, um, and I'm going to keep it up here. Um, and then, of course, I have my incense holder. I have two, I think, so far. I want to get another one, one that has like the holes so it seeps out a little better. But this is the one I've got right now. Um, I like the ones that are contained too because with these, um, I find that the ash and whatever gets like all over the area of this instead of being in a box or something. But um, it has an elephant and some stars on it. And I was just opening up this incense that I recently got. Um, it's by, oop, that was upside down. <laughs> it's by Native Soul, and it's the White Sage and Dragon's Blood incense. It's packaged really cute in this little box and comes with a sticker and a feather um, and a little tie there. So that's where I left off in my last attempt here and you can keep it in this cute little box um, which I might display up here as well because hey this is my area I'm gonna go ahead and put the incense into the holder um, and I just like how that looks there um, I was also saying that this table is a little low <clears throat> but, um, I might eventually, um, get a meditation pillow so that I can sit next to it and meditate next to it, um, cause it's a little uncomfortable to sit here at the moment. Um, I have this vase that I bought at a Goodwill, um, it's gorgeous, um, it just is amazing, it kind of looks like it has third eyes on it and the design is pretty and I love the color teal. It makes me happy. Right now I've got a bunch of fake fall flowers in it and sometimes um, during the spring and summer I had some real flowers in here, which I would love to do again. But I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna put this up here because it makes me extremely happy to have that in my room. And by the way, this is in my bedroom, um, which this is my bed, so I don't know, I assumed you knew. Um, anyway, I'm going to continue on here, uh, but I am putting that back on this table. Um, I also recently, so I went to this little shop actually up in the White Mountains, uh, which is on the northeast of the United States of America uh, in New Hampshire. And anyway, there was this cute little magic shop and I love going in places like that. And I'm kind of getting my boyfriend into it too. Um, so that's really exciting. But anyway, we've had some issues in, we've had some issues in this house 
Um, and I don't even want to say that, but um, just in case it is anything negative or bad, uh, I do want to cleanse the area. Now, we might be moving again. <laughs> we might be moving again, um, or I might be moving again. I'm not sure really what's going to happen soon, but uh, we are staying here for at least like six or more months. And while we're here, I would like it to be positive and a safe space for us. Um, I also want to get more like calming things. The Himalayan salt lamp is definitely calming. Um, I want to get more calming uh, incense and maybe candles to burn, as well as some aroma therapy like essential oils. But uh, until then, anyway, what I'm saying is we want to cleanse the house and uh, we bought some, sm a smudge stick of white sage. Um, now I'm not going to do this until I am fully educated on it and I advise you to do the same. Um, but it's a tradition of Native Americans who are very connected to spirit and Mother Earth. Um, and basically it's supposed to cleanse anything negative out of your space so we bought that and i'm gonna just keep that up here for now um i think i'm gonna keep it in its package um and afterwards um you can either use like a shell or a bowl to keep it with um but for now I'm just gonna keep it in the package here um, with all my other stuff. Uh, and the last thing, I think the last thing, yeah. The last thing I recently bought, and then I'm gonna look around for stuff that I just wanna put up here that I already had. But um, I bought two meaning candles um, or aromatherapy or whatever you would like to call it. Um, but these scents are meant for specific things, and they smell so good. Um, I want to get some candle holders for these as well. I actually think I have some, so give me one second, and I'm going to look. Give me, like, one second. Oof. All right, so I recently had them out, so I'm just going to look. All right, sorry about that. Um, I have these candle votive holders. They're really tea light holders, but hopefully that's okay. They still have stickers on the bottom, which I find funny. And they're the ones that are hard to get off, apparently. So we'll do that another time. But I'm just going to show you. There is a yellow one. That smells super good. And I have the little things, uh, Reiki energy candle. Um, I'm a conduit for universal energy, allowing me to do good and righteous things. May this pure and positive force guide my every thought and action. Uh, so sandalwood, dragon's blood, frankincense, saffron. Uh, this is a positive energy candle. So we need some of that. Ah! in our life so that's just gonna go in there and don't worry at the end I'll show you the whole table but for now this is what we're doing um, and the second one is this blue one it doesn't smell like much but this is what it says oh this is for the uh, throat chakra I bought that uh, because if you guys didn't know, I had um, thyroid surgery and 
I think it actually mentions thyroid in here. It does. Um, so it's an aroli, sage, and eucalyptus. Hmm. Zodiac, Taurus. Singing and chanting helps with this. Um, ideal for use in meditation, chakra rebalancing, relaxing to music, or sitting in your sacred space. Love it. Anyway, my throat chakra candle. Hmm, maybe I'll put this one. And then this one can go over there. Um, so yeah, anyway. Just seeing a couple of things here. I'm just rolling this so it stands up a little bit. Or maybe I'll put it underneath them because I do want to keep those papers with it. Um, okay. Uh, so, let me take you on a journey of what I've been doing. Uh, so basically, I like to keep certain things by my bed. So I have a nightstand that I keep some things on there, ignore the medications. Um, but I keep my lavender here and I think I'm gonna keep that here. I think I'm gonna keep all of these things here cause they really do help me um, sleep. <laughs> um, but I do want to move over this journal. Ugh, this journal I have down here. And what this journal is, and these two. But what these journal, this journal is, uh, is my manifestation journal. So it makes sense for this to be over here as well as this, um, which is a bunch of essential oils, a lavender essential oil, and a bunch of sample ones. Um, so I just thought this made sense over here too. Um, and of course, the hard part is figuring out where things belong. But um, this is a journal that I use for manifestation. It says sun and moon on it. And um, it's not that full yet. And I'm going to leave it with a purple gel pen here. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave this here as well. But anyway, I'm gonna light some incense now and clean this area off of negative spirit, hopefully, and have it ready for meditations and the like. Um, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let's just balance my camera on something. Oh, you can't really see it that well. From there. I wish I could balance it like that. But I don't know. I don't know. Ah. The camera just falls. Let's see? Anyway, you saw it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Maybe I'll balance this up from on here. And we're going to light this. This is how you light incense, by the way. Just using a Bic, Bic lighter. So you let it get red on the end. And you blow it out. And you make sure, or you try to make sure, that it's going to drop its ash on your actual incense holder. Um, 
Ooh. But yay! I'm so happy to finally have uh, this space set up and um, here's to hoping that it's gonna help me. Here's to hoping that this incense is going to cleanse the area and I'm so thankful that I have this area to do things like this. Thank you for watching. Um, please do some research if you're interested in doing anything like this. Um, oh, it smells so good. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know and ask me whatever questions that you have. I may not be able to answer them, but I can sure as heck try to. Um, and yeah, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time. Stay strong, my friends. Thank you so much for watching.